Hello! Welcome to my channel Cat's Diamond Painting or welcome back if you've joined me here before. Today I am going to be doing what is, for me at least, a rather exciting unboxing. So this package here, as you can see, has come from Diamond Art Club over in the United States. I ordered these paintings, I've got three paintings in here, a couple of weeks ago for Diamond Art Club's fourth anniversary uh, extravaganza, I guess you could call it. So if you're a customer of Diamond Art Club already, you may know that a couple of weeks back they were celebrating their fourth anniversary of their first sale. And for that event, they brought out 50 new paintings all at the same time. And then actually later on a couple of days, after that, they brought out a few more um, and I really loved a lot of the paintings that they released. I was not in a position to buy an awful lot of paintings at that point. I'm trying not to spend too much money on new paintings at the moment while I have a bit of a stash. Um, and I ruled out any of the super large ones. So Diamond Art Club does have some paintings that can be, you know, a meter across. Um, just because even though there were several I really liked, I already have a lot of really large paintings to work on. So I picked my three favourite paintings from the kind of medium size that Diamond Art Club does, which is still pretty big by a lot of people's standards. So I'm going to get into these now. So I actually used rewards points to buy these paintings. So I organised it so that I spent just enough of my own money to get free shipping to the UK because otherwise that's quite expensive, it's about £15 um, and I used rewards points that I had accumulated to pay for the rest of it. So that meant that I did not pay a lot for these free paintings which was particularly nice. So let's get these out here. How shall I do this? I think I'm going to show you what I've got and then I'm going to crack into them. This one's got a slightly bulging box but I'm sure it's all okay in there. So the first one that I saw out of the releases when they were sneak peeking them earlier in the week and they did so what I mean by that is they'd release images of 10 of them a day for the five days leading up to the sale. The first one that I saw that I was like oh I think I really 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 want that painting was this one. Butterflies in the Garden by Joelle McIntyre. Let me bring that in so you can get a better view. So this is a square painting. All of the diamond paintings I've got here are squares because Diamond Art Club actually made us aware they had some issues with the production of their round drills. Um, so most of the paintings they're releasing at the moment are square. So that was number one. The second one that I got was solar system. Let me try and get that so that there's no glare on it. So this painting I really loved just because I love space pictures. I love the imagery. Um, they do actually have another painting called solar system which I also have but this one's a bit different. It's a bit brighter. So that's why I really wanted this one. And the last one that I got was a Randall Spangler called Sunday Delight. With the sweet little draglings. This one's a bit smaller. This one's 56 by 56 centimetres. So let's get stuck into these. So how is everyone today? I wonder if there's anyone who's watching this who also fell victim to the uh, anniversary sale and spent some money they maybe hadn't intended to. It was quite hard to resist, for me at least, because there were so many paintings that I liked. I easily, if money was no object and I wasn't trying to reduce the size of my stash, I could easily have bought about 10 of them. <laughs> but that was not the case. So. Let's have a look at what I've got here. So I've got a new toolkit. Let's have a look at that first of all. 
um, if you're not familiar with Diamond Dart Club. Um, I say new toolkit because this is the toolkit that they've started to roll out in recent months. Older kits may have their older style toolkit, which has absolutely everything that you need, but this has a few less items in it. So I'll have a quick look at this. Oh, if I can get it out, it's a little bit beaten up because it's this paper bag that's good and recyclable. Okay, so in the toolkit, you get a tray, nice glittery tray. There's a couple of different kinds. This is the nice, slightly sturdier kind and a stopper. So you can put that stopper in the end of your tray so that when you shake your drills, they don't all come flying out. You get a little bag of baggies. You get some nice tweezers, which may be pink, they may be black. I do like these nice pink ones. You get a pen and squishy that tend to match. And the colour of this will vary depending on what kit you buy. You get a little caddy with two plates of heart-shaped wax. Now, Diamond Art Club wax, I think, is really good. I tend to just use this for most of my paintings because there are better waxes out there, probably. There's ones that might last a bit longer in your pen. This lasts me plenty long enough, and it's one that I have plenty of because they're very generous with it. You get two multi-placers, a seven-placer and a four-placer. A lovely roll of washi tape. I really like that one. So washi tape is used often for either sectioning off canvases by putting it over the clear plastic cover or it's also sometimes used for going around the edges of your painting, covering up the little extra rim of glue that tends to stick beyond the, the area that you're gonna dye and paint and covering it up so it doesn't get fuzzy. And last but not least, because this is my favorite bit, <laughs> is a cover minder. I like this one. So a cover minder is a nice little thing i say thing because it could be a picture it could be a shape it could be you know whatever people make all sorts of cover minders it's got a magnet on the back and then magnet that will connect to that and when you're working on a poured glue canvas with a clear cover if you pull the canvas back uh, the canvas the cover back you can use this cover minder you put one behind your painting you put the picture on the top and it holds the clear plastic cover out of the way so that's my tool kit and I won't go into that much detail for all of them. I'll just show you what I've got. Okay, so I've put that away and I'm going to have a look at my canvas. So first things first, with Diamond Art Club you get a little sticker like this in the box. Uh, people do all sorts of things with them. People keep them or put them in log books. I use them on the side of my box so that when I've got them all stored in my cupboard, I can see at a glance what they are. Diamond Art Club canvases also come in this plastic cover, which is just a bit of a dust shield to protect them. And then I'm gonna rip in and have a look. I always give it a little stroke. <laughs> they have these really soft backed canvases. I think they call it tarpaulin or something like that. And they're really nice to work with. They feel nice and it's also a really nice flexible canvas, as you'll see in a minute. So, oh, I love this. Now, you're not going to be able to see it all in frame in one go. Um, I will pan over it uh, in a moment, so don't worry about that. I'll just show you what I've got in here. So I've got a larger sticker. Again, often good for logbooks. I've got individual stickers that you can use if you're kitting up. Um, so I use these to go on my storage pots when I start to work on a painting. As you can see, there's 47 colours in this. So quite a lot of colours. Um, well, actually, I say that a lot of the paintings that have been coming out recently have quite a few more colours than that on them. So this should be nice and easy. Um, I've got here 
the little leaflet that they include. This is the newer version of this. Older kits may have a slightly different one that just tells you what's included. It gives you links to things like their Facebook group and it gives you instructions. And I've got my drills. So I'm not going to go into the drill bags because after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna roll all these up and put them in my wardrobe until I'm ready to work on them. And I will never get it back in. I know some people can manage to open them up and get them out and get them back in, but I do not trust myself to do that. So I'm just going to show you the colours by doing this. And as you can see, this is a gloriously bright, cheerfully coloured painting. I love it. I can also see a few AB drills. I don't know if you can see that nice pink in there. And there's a little purple one. I wonder if I can get any of those out without unwrapping the whole thing. Okay, so that gives you a slightly better view of the colours. We've got a blue AB there. Sorry, I should explain. AB drills, if you're not familiar with the term, it stands for Aurora Borealis. And it's these drills that have an extra sparkly coating on them. Hopefully you can just about see that. And um, that really catches and reflects the light from the other drills and any light that shines on the painting. Um, they're a bit of a, a staple in lots of good quality kit companies these days because they really add to a painting. So, I'm going to roll this back so I can get it nice and flat, which is something that you can do without worrying about damaging Diamond Art Club paintings because of the poured glue and the good quality canvas. It's fine and actually their paintings do lie flat really nicely anyway if you just leave them a bit but just to save time and we'll do that and I'm going to pan over this canvas to give you a closer look <laughs> to just remove the instruction uh what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> the instruction leaflet because i don't need that and the rest of it i store exactly as it came in the box okay the next one i'm going to look at is sunday delight so i'm just going to take the covering off this I really like the Draggling series. If you don't know what I'm, oh, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, the artist um, whose artwork this is based on. Oh, I'm doing a really bad job of getting into this. <laughs> the artist whose work this is based on is called Randall Spangler, and he has this whole series of paintings featuring the Draglings, the little dragons that you're going to see in this painting. Um, and actually, 
there are posts available online where he's explained the story of the draglings. I think there's some story where they come through from their own magical world into this world, particularly to steal cookies or, or something along those lines. So this picture is really fitting for that. I have a few of the draglings paintings because whilst I probably wouldn't put these on my walls because they're a bit more cartoonish, they're really fun to do with all the bright colours. Okay, we have an older toolkit with this one, which has actually surprised me because I thought that all of the newer kits were coming out with the new toolkits now. But as you'll see, there's absolutely everything you need in this. So it's not a problem at all. You don't miss anything with the older toolkit. You just, there's a couple of added extras in the newer ones, that's all. So with the older toolkits, just to show you quickly, you get a slightly smaller plastic boat than you do in the new one. There's no stopper, but it's actually quite a nice little tray to use. You get a roll of baggies. You still get your two plates of heart-shaped wax. You get, as standard, a blue pen and squishy. And you get, oh, normally there's a couple of places, no. Just a four placer with this one and some black tweezers. Okay, so let's get stuck into this one. And this 56 by 56 centimeter size that um, DAC quite often uses is one of my favorites because it feels quite small compared to a lot of the really big ones. So it, they work up nice and quick, but it's still big enough for lots of fun details. So there we've got the older style of the instruction booklet. Oops, <laughs> things falling off there. Um, so we've got the logbook sticker and all of our storage pot stickers. 54 colours in this painting, so a little more than the last one. Four of which are AB drills, which I can tell because with Diamond Art Club, anything under DMC code 150 is going to be an AB drill. So I've got four particularly sparkly ones in this one. Here's my drill bag. There's a lot more kind of browns and oranges than I'd expect. I don't see loads of green at, at first glance. Have a slightly closer look without unraveling it all. Okay, so there's the green AB that's sort of obligatory with a draglings painting. Um, that's nice, a sort of mint green AB there. Can you see that? I don't see any others at the moment and again I'm not going to pull these out because I'll never get them back in. But when I kit up these paintings to work on I will go through them closer. There's an orange AB there and somewhere in here there is apparently a red ah. Here, there's, I don't think you'll be able to see, but there's a little sort of pinky coral colour AB there. So that's cool. Let's get this laying a little bit flatter. And this one, you can see most of it in frame but I am going to pan over it closer.
Okay, so as you'll hopefully have seen there, this one looks really fun to do. There are some areas that have a fair bit of confetti where I'll be changing colour really regularly, like this dragon and his little scales. But there's also, particularly around the edges, quite a lot of areas of colour blocking that will go quite quickly. So I think this one will work up reasonably quickly um, and it'll be a nice, not snack size because it's still a large painting, but compared to a lot of the things that I work on, because I tend to go for bigger, more detailed paintings, this one will probably feel quite quick. So let's get this one put away. I should say as well, both of the paintings that I have shown so far are out of stock currently on the Diamond Art Club website but they will come back in stock at some point. Um, they're not discontinued paintings. So if you think that you would like to buy either of these, what you can do is go find it on the Diamond Art Club website and I can link the painting below. And then um, there'll be a little box where you can put your email address and you can sign up to receive a notification when it next comes back in stock. The last painting, Solar System, is a limited edition. So this is one where they've bought it out for one run. Once it sells out, it will be gone. Now, as of the last time I looked at the website, which was probably maybe yesterday, they did still have it in stock. However, if you like this painting, don't wait too long because once it's sold out, it won't be coming back. As I mentioned before, there is another solar system painting on the website, which has a slightly darker colourway. Um, so you may find that that one is your preference anyway, but if you do prefer this one, just take a look quickly. So I'll just have a super quick look at the toolkit because it will be pretty similar to what we've already seen. So with this one I've got black tweezers but these are branded which the black tweezers in the old style toolkit weren't. I've got oh really sweet heart washi tape. I like that. And I have a rose cover minder. I like that one. I have a couple of lilac roses from other kits, but I don't have a pink one yet. Okay, so I've packed that away. Let's have a look at my final painting. So this one is 76 by 56 centimetres. The artist is Pia Wana Chai Wong. So we have 61 colours in this one. It's the biggest one in terms of colours, which I love. I like lots of variety in the colours in a painting. Wow. This is my sticker sheet. So with this one, I've got four ABs and lots. So lots of other colours. <laughs> this is going to need one of my bigger storage systems. So interestingly, considering this is a painting about space, there's not any 310, which is um, the DMC code for black. So all of the dark bits are going to come from navies, I guess. Maybe some dark greens looking at the picture. So that's fun. Oh, this is so nice and colourful. Yeah, look at these deep royal blues. Oh, <laughs> I can't find the end to get into this. Where is it? I see lots of yellows. I see a white AB. 
actually one of those yellows is an AB, so I bet that's going to be in the sun. Let's have a look. So the yellow AB is going to be a number three. And yeah, I see lots of threes in here. Threes and fours, which is the white AB. So the sun is going to be filled with ABs, it looks like, which is going to make it really sparkly at the centre. I love that. And where else are the ABs going to be? So there's going to be some blue ABs in the ring of Saturn here. And there's some pinky ABs, the number one. That's interesting. I see some up at the top there, which probably isn't in frame for you. So there's some up there. I think this one's going to be really sparkly. Really pleased I got it. I was umming and ahhing over it because I do have the other solar system painting. But in the end, I just thought they were different enough, particularly in the colourway, that whilst I might not work on them one after the other, they, they're they different enough that I, I wanted them both. <laughs> particularly with this one being a limited edition. I thought if this sold out and I didn't get it, I would have the rest. <laughs> So that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought in the anniversary sale. Um, if you bought anything on that day, I would love to know what you got. There were some really popular paintings. I was actually quite glad that the ones that I was after weren't amongst the most popular because those ones sold out quick. Um, but I'm really, really, really pleased with what I got and I can't wait to work on these. I don't know which one I'll work on first because they are all so nice. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do consider subscribing to the channel and also dropping me a like on the video. It really helps me to know when I'm going in the right direction with this channel and, and things that I might need to tweak. So yeah, thank you for joining me here today. I'll see you soon. Bye.